In this video, we're going to take a look at measuring resistance with a multimeter. So now we're going to start with the non-auto ranging meter. Uh, first, we want to make sure the probes are in the right spot. So black goes to uh, com there, and then red goes to where you have the omega symbol there for ohms. We want to make sure that the dial is set to a resistance higher than we will measure. Not uh, terribly important you get this wrong though, but in case we're going to be measuring less than 20,000 ohms of resistance. To turn the display on, you have to hit the uh, power button for this one. So it's showing out of limit right now because the uh, air between the probes is a lot more than 20,000 ohms of resistance. So it's showing out of limit. And here are uh, three resistors that we will measure. So you only take resistance measurements of resistive based uh, components, such as resistors. You can take them of uh, other components, just uh, you won't get anything because uh, they're not uh, resistant. You won't get any useful information. So that's a 10,000 ohm resistor, and uh, so there you can see slightly less than 10K. And we'll come up to uh, the 1,000 ohm resistor, and once I get a good connection there, there you can see basically 1K. And uh, the 220 ohm resistor, we got uh, 0.21, that's because of the setting that we have it at. So for a more accurate reading, for the lower values, we uh, will go down. So we go to a 2K. And so ideally, you would get a setting that's just slightly higher than uh, the resistor you're gonna measure, but uh, this meter has some weird uh, values on it. So I think that's one reason why they upgraded it. So that's 10,000 ohm, that's higher than the 2,000 we set it, it's still out of limit. So perfectly safe. To try to measure something with a lot higher resistance, you just uh, will get it on a limit, at least uh, with this particular meter, and at uh, 220 there. So the uh, next setting down is 200, and uh, so we're just going to end it there. But uh, we want to uh, power off the uh, meter when we're done. An auto ranging meter is much simpler. We just have to go to the omega symbol ohms there for uh, resistance. So again. Out of limit because it's measuring the air between the uh, two probes and all we have to do is connect it directly to the two sides of the resistor and it does the rest. It may take a little while to show up on the display because it kind of has to figure out what range it is going to but uh, we're seeing pretty much the same numbers there. This one will say uh, 213 it looks like. Remember these are uh, not precision, they're not exact resistance, they're a little bit off and the meter may be off a little bit. But in uh, any case, there you can see the display a lot easier on the auto ranging meter. So now we're going to do a few more things in this video. These are both 1000 ohm resistors as we can verify by looking at the meter. So that's uh, 1 kilo ohm, same as uh, 1000. Now we're going to put them in series. When you're learning about electronics, you're going to learn that uh, series resistance adds up. And you can take the uh, multimeter and uh, measure that of course. And so you should get in the habit of uh, measuring everything you learn about uh, electronics when they tell you something about voltages and resistances and stuff. So that's uh, two kilo ohms right there. It added up. Now, more interesting, that's not uh, terribly surprising. Whatever current goes through one resistor has to go to the other and uh, thus it runs into more uh, resistance. And uh, so it's not uh, too surprising it adds up. What's more interesting is if you put them in parallel, so both ends are connected to the same row. So each one of these rows is called a node now. They connect and you can see we got half of the resistance right there. Resistance goes down when you put them in parallel. There's two current pads and uh, the voltage is the same across them. So you get twice the current. Ultimately, it's the same as half the resistance. So if this is just a little bit more resistance than we want, we can take the 10 kilo ohm resistor. So even though it's a high or value uh, resistor, we're going to end up with uh, a little bit lower resistance than the 1000 ohm resistor by itself. So you can adjust uh, total resistance by putting them in series. That simply adds up. But even by putting them in parallel, it will go down. Higher value resistors will uh, lower the resistance a little bit of a lower value resistor and uh, lower value uh, resistors will lower the value of a higher value resistor by a lot. Just something to uh, keep in mind. 